I've done everything I can to prepare for a big race. <clears throat> Everyone's waiting for me at the track. Am I ready to do this? Let's race. I'm so fucked. Alright, you ready to sell this once for all? Where well, is one lap around the track? Fastest time wins. You win, you get the car. I win, you're staying here and work with me. We've been scrapped for three months. We know what's the stake already. I just don't want to hear you complaining when we whip the floor with you. Oh, come on now, Mark. What would the big guy say if he heard you talking like that? That's between me and him now, isn't it? Why don't you go ahead and worry about who's going first? We want to go sick, and so we know what we're up against. Now you just want me to warm the track for you. Tell you what, we flip it. Winner gets to go last. <coughs> go on, Jace. We call it, okay? Heads. Stan flipped the coin. It's heads. Woo! I guess somebody's looking for us out for us all day. What's the matter? You're never gonna beat my time. I know this track like the back of my hand. Well, let's get a move on, then. Jace is looking to get out of here sometime this year. Alright, just give me a second. Oh god, they're his kids. Alright, you munchkins, be good to make sure these two don't cheat. Once that is finished, we'll all go out for ice cream. How's that sound? <laughs> Fucking his kids. Yay, ice cream! We love you, daddy! Go, daddy! We're gonna cheer for you, daddy! Alright, munchkins, I'll see you at the finish line. Be good. Can't remember his voice, actually. I like how my voice is fucking different anyway. <clears throat> I'm only gonna do this once, so keep an eye on that timer, preacher. I know you ain't got a cheat me, but I don't want any accidents. Here, you just worry about the place. Ready when you are. Three, two, one, go! What the hell is he doing? Why is he doing that weird swervy shit? Why is that a thing? Not a very good racetrack in my opinion, but okay. He just drove right in my car's face! Imagine. Daddy, you win so fast! You're the best, Daddy! Nobody beats me, Daddy. That's the fastest. Next time, take me with you! <laughs> okay, okay, settle down. Preacher, how'd I do? Just shy of a minute and a half. Stopwatch says 128. Yeah, not too shabby if I do say so myself. He's gonna have a hell of a time beating that. Come on, let's get away for them to go. <clears throat> that was really fast. I don't know if I can beat him. I mean, did you see how he handled those corners? He practically broke the laws of physics. I know, it's ungodly. We put a lot of work to that girl, though. She's bound to treat us right for her. I just need you to believe we can win, then everything's gonna be fine. Do I believe we'll win? Yeah, of course I do. Well, just do your best. I don't want you walking out of here without any regrets. If there's something we could have done to help our chances, we'd have done it. Are we going or what? Go on, I'll see you at the finish line. Win or lose, I'm proud of you, baby boy. I am so fucked. Okay. Let's try. I got I got this, I got this, I got this. Okay, it's time to say it. What can you do? Better hope that Lord's watching over him. They preacher. Alright, let's get this on the show. On my count. Three. I don't know what to do. Go. Oh. Nope. Lag! Oh, it's doing it by itself. I don't have to do shit. Awesome. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ha, uh, ha, we did it. What was the time? I hate to say it, but the clock reads 118. You beat me by a whole 10 seconds. We won? We won! In your face, Stan! Now, now, let's not be sportsmanlike. Put her there, Stan. It was a hell of a race. Ha, huh, you're a better man than me, Mark. Yay! Come on, you munchkins. Daddy's gonna take you to get ice cream so you forget they lost. Yay! Motherfucker, we won! See, we didn't need to do anything stupid, you pussy woman, you. We got the keys. Finally got out of this town. Yep, and you earned it too. Whenever you're ready, just come and see me and I'll take you out of here. I might just get you that church on time after all. Woo! It's awesome, man. Man, it's awesome. Man, we rule, man. Man, it's awesome. 
Tell us me there. I think that's awesome. I think that's all awesome. And this is where I'm gonna leave it now. <laughs> then next we're gonna be to the big city! Yeah! Hiyahoo! Oh, crap. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Stay awake. I need to eat something. Tyra Jason needs food badly. Uh. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Sleep. Might as well. Yeah. Let's just let my bed for the night. Hey guys and welcome back. And we are going to finally leave this fucking place. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so did did uh Did you like your bet? Bum 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 I guess he's at the church. We're gonna go to the church and we're gonna find out. Uh not really desperate for money right now. So we'll, we'll leave it. Uh... Oh, hello. Well, bad boy, I guess we're all set to get you to San Bernardino. Carl's all ready for you whenever you need, unless, of course, you want to stick around for a bit. You want to take me to San Bernardino? Let's go! It's time to kiss this town goodbye. Let's hit the road, Mark. We got road to burn. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's go. Yay! Go to San Bernardino. I'm so happy. This is gonna be weird. Gonna be weird. San Bernardino. Oh my god, we're here! Our hopes and our dreams are all on this marriage! <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Well, I guess this is it, baby boy. Here, alas, and gone so far. I really enjoyed getting to see you again, you know. A big part of me never thought I'd get to see you all growing up, but I got more than I could ask for. It's really been a pleasure, Jace. Yeah, it was fun getting to know you too. Maybe I'll stop by Salt City sometime. In the future or something. Bless you, baby boy. You know, you've always got a place to stay with old Mark. I guess it's a weird part for now, though. Ain't it? Yeah, it seems that way. Thanks again for everything. Yeah, well, it's the least I can do. You've turned into such a fine young man. It does me a world of good knowing I had some sort of hand in it. You take care of yourself, alright? You too, Mark. One more thing before I go. What's that? Stay true to who you are, whoever you think that is. Nothing's more important in this world or the next. Whatever comes your way, just try and be as honest with yourself as you can. Maybe God will be watching, maybe not. That ain't for us to say for certain. For now, my own mistakes though, I know there's no escape in your past, so try to be decent in the present, alright? Yeah, I understand. Alright then, big boy, it's time to shuffle it up and let you get on. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. I don't love Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm an atheist, I'm gonna stay that way forever. I remember this like it was yesterday. This is a weird experience. I didn't know they had a pond. Okay. In the kitchen. Ah, uh, there. Casey? Jace! You know, I've got to say, I'm a little surprised you're actually here. I don't remember seeing your name on the seating arrangement for the reception. Well, I'm as surprised as anyone. I was invited, all things considered. You were invited? You were, you were invited, weren't you? Yeah, of course. I got the invitation everything. You should Casey your wedding invitation. It came in the mail just like everyone else's. Huh? How about that? Daddy never mentioned you'd be coming. Or maybe I'm just not as sharp as I used to be. Either way, I wasn't about to let you come all this way and stay in a motel or something. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm not putting you out, am I? Not at all. Since Daddy moved out, I've had this place all to myself. 
It's a funny thing, though, being on my own. While you two were together, I couldn't wait for you to get out of my hair. Now that I finally got my privacy back, I kind of miss having people around the house. I guess the grass is always greener, huh? Yeah, I guess sometimes it's true. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. It's alright. I'll be fine as long as Danny's happy. And no sense get a word to about it now, right? All that matters now is things are the way he wants it. I suppose that's true, as long as it's true. What do you mean by that? Uh, nothing really. Just, you know how Danny and I are. We love each other a great deal, but we barely talk. I never did ask what happened between you two. Why it all ended. It's one of those things that's always made me feel like a bit of a failure as a mother. If it's too much to talk about, you don't have to. I just wish I knew what happened between you two. I mean, you seem so happy together, it's hard to imagine why it didn't work. Well, I guess things aren't always as good as they seem from the outside. Truth be told, it kind of snuck up on me too. For lack of a better way to put it, who dumped who? I was ready to ask that. Huh? He was the one who dumped me, with good reason I suppose. I can't say I didn't see it coming, all things considered. I messed up pretty badly. Why though? What made him want to leave you? Well, if there's a simple way to put it. I was a little more careless than I should have been. When, when I wrote, I never considered how he would feel about reading it. There was no buffer of privacy and it turned our relationship to a public affair. He left me because I couldn't shield her from my fears and anxieties about where we were going. Well, for what it's worth, Danny hasn't been the same since you two split. Maybe that sort of breakup changes a person. Maybe he's just unhappy. All I know is that I'm not so sure everything's as good as it should be for him. Don't get me wrong, for a minute, Danny couldn't pick a more fantastic person to marry. I just remember being a lot happier while with you. But then again, this is what he wants, so don't get any ideas, alright? Doesn't matter what I say, he's made his choice. Look, I've got to get flitted for my dress. I hate doing this stuff, but I guess I shouldn't put it off any longer. You're welcome to stay here, there's no problem about that. The bedroom's yours if you want it. What about Danny? Ah, with all the money they've been making their way to get an apartment close to downtown. They stop by from time to time, but I've got the place mostly to myself these days. Make yourself a home while you're in here, but don't eat all the leftovers, alright? Understood. Alright, do me a favor and make sure you lock up the place before you go. Last thing I need is another break in. Can't afford to keep replacing all my stuff. Oh, that's my ride. See you soon, Jace. I. I guess we get to find out how they broke up as well. I guess I made the choice to deciding on how they broke up. Well, I kind of like that, I guess. I should have said that I broke up with him, like... I, did, I think I was worthy enough or something. That's kind of how I should have said it, I guess. Because I always end up breaking people because... People tend to break up me because I don't give enough attention. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do I get nostalgia trips from me on the this? Nope. Nope. Okay. No nostalgia. Okay. Why is this door always locked? I guess I could take a shower. Sure. This might help me clear my mind. Wait, what? What happened? Wait, what happened? What did I just click for? Wait, what did I just click about? What the hell just happened? Okay, so I wanted to do this again and say I dumped him due to being insecure. I don't know, I just kind of... People kind of break up though just because they don't feel they're worthy enough. Hey, no, let's see that. Uh, okay. I was the one who dumped him. Worst mistake of my life. I've regretted it every day since if I could do it, I would. Why though? What made you want to leave him? Well, for the simple way that we put it. Afraid? 
Jealous, greedy, unworthy. Let's see if I guess you can say I was too afraid of what might happen. He was perfect and I was nothing, so I always worried that the end was near. When I was floundering, it felt like he could turn and leave any moment, so I struck first. I left him because I was afraid of getting her. Well, for what it's worth, Danny hasn't been the same since you two split. Okay, so that's pretty much... Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, So what the fuck was I doing in the shower? Was I taking a piss? Did I have a choice of taking a piss? Because that sounds like something that you'd ask someone in the shower. Did you want to take a piss? Uh, okay, let's try this again. So, yeah, it's pretty much how a lot of people go. Uh, they break up with someone because they get scared and... Skype, I swear to God! Stop it! Skype! I will kill you! Ugh! Okay, so... Oh... Okay! Everyone does it! Masturbating in the shower is a good feeling! I'm not wrong with that. A lot of people do it. Don't masturbate again! <laughs> That's a long ass shower if you can masturbate twice! <laughs> oh, we're finished. <laughs> I feel better already. Where does the time go? I guess I was even longer than I thought. Well, that's what happens when you masturbate. <laughs> what you know? Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is really weird. Look at that in bed. I should get some sleep, I guess. Go to sleep. I didn't write anything in my diary! Fuck! Oh, is this a breakup dream? Uh oh. <clears throat> you know, it's really coming along quite well. At first, I was worried you might not be able to do it alone, but how far you've come? I'm really proud of you, babe. What's the matter? Are you alright? You don't need to patronize me, you know. It's junk. None of it is good enough yet. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I don't need you pretending. Pretending? I'm not real... Uh, what? Look, everyone feels like this about their own work. You just have to trust what I'm telling you and believe in yourself. I really don't want to hear it right now, Danny. Please, not tonight. What's all... Oh, where's all this coming from? Did I do something wrong? No, not yet, but it'll come eventually, won't it? Really, how stupid would I have been not to see it coming? Everyone, like, doesn't stick around with a loser like me forever, do they? What are you talking about, Jace? I'm talking about the day you realize that I'm a failure. You're not a failure. You've got so much going for you. It seems that way on the surface, but you and I both, though, I'm not going anywhere. If I was ever going to finish this thing, I'd have done it already. Joke. Wannabe, that's all I ever was. It's only a matter of time before you see it. You can't talk about yourself like that. It's not true and you know it. You're fantastic and I love you very much. Sure, you feel that way now. What about when I can't deliver the work and the contract falls through? What about when we can't do the things we want because I'm such a fuck up? What about when you have to carry my ass for the rest of our lives? I know what's coming. I don't want to waste my life waiting for the hammer to fall. One day you'll realize how much better you could have had without me. You'll wonder how you could have wasted so much time on someone like me. And it'll be the end. It'll have been over so long you won't even feel it. No, it's not true. I don't care about any of those things. I just want to be happy and with you. I love you, damn it! What's the point of love now? It'll fall apart eventually. I'd rather pull the plug and save us both a lot of time. I'll take the pain now over the agony later. So, this is it all. After all we've been through together, after all we thought we'd become, it just ends here. Like this? You're a real piece of work, Jace. You- I, I can't even talk. Say something, damn it! What's left to say but goodbye? Jace, you are a fucking idiot. 
I'm just gonna say it right there, and then you're a fucking idiot. Oh, what a horrible dream. <laughs> eh. Hey, come out here. I'm out on the balcony. Danny? Oh no, I should have saved. Jace? What's going on? Yeah, how's it going? No, no, I mean, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? got this wedding invitation, so I came. Look, see? I don't know how to tell you this, Jace. You weren't invited. I don't know how you got this. Uh, what? Wait, what? What? Jeez, what? I just spent the last month breaking my back to get here. What do you mean I wasn't invited? Look, I thought about inviting you at one point, but then, you know... I just didn't want to give you the wrong idea or anything, so I took you off the invite list. Didn't want you thinking that I wasn't completely over you already. Oh, God, this is painful. <laughs> Plus, I mean, how awkward would, the, would that be for you? Sitting in the pews watching me marry someone else? You've got to be kidding me. After all, I went through getting here. Fine, whatever. I'll get out of here if you don't want me here. Sorry to bother you and everything. Uh, oh, Jace. Oh, I want to know one thing, though. Something doesn't add up. If you remove me from the invite list, how the hell did I get that invitation? I invited him. How's it going, Jace? What? Sam, what is this? Wait, what? You added people to the guest list without telling me? Not people, person. I could get married without my best friend present. Are you fucking serious? You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! It's good to see you come back here. You stole my boyfriend. You stole my motherfucking boyfriend, and now you're marrying him. Daddy, what the fuck? You told me you weren't interested in him. He wasn't your type, but now you're fucking marrying him? Are you fucking crazy? Fucking bitch! Yeah! It's, uh, good to see you too, Sam. Sam, I can't believe you do this to me. I expli- I, uh, I explicitly told you that Jace wasn't to come. Oh, come on now. We're all adults here, aren't we? I'm sorry, Danny, but it had to be done. It just couldn't feel right getting married without Jace there. Well, fine, whatever. It's not like I can ask you to go back home now or anything. I mean, you came all this way, and I guess if Sam invited you. I'm glad you're here, Jace. I gotta go. I'll see you later. Alright? Jace, it's your responsibility now. You got that? Yes, dear. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Sam, I'm gonna punch you in your fucking face. You see this fist? You see this fist going right up your ass? That's where it's fucking going. It's good to see you, Jace. It really is. Yeah, I guess it's good to see you, too. Come on. Don't wait inside and get some breakfast. I'll meet you downstairs. I will gut you like a fish! <laughs>